Hello, friends. Glenda Mollett here, and welcome to my craft room. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm located on the west coast of the beautiful Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. And tonight, I'm going to be playing with the abundant, hang on, abundant beauty masks. I forgot to take my recipe off the back so I can tell you what I'm using. So I'm just heading over to my um, Facebook and I'm just going to get this shared into my VIP group. And there we go. Now, I think tonight I might even share it. Hello. Oh, we have people already. Okay. Hello, Norma. Hello, Marsha. Yay. And I get to see some names too. Yay. So, yes. Hello, Eva. Oh, good, good. Well, thumbs up, Facebook is working tonight. Yay. All right. So, tonight we're going to be playing with the Abundant Beauty masks that are in the mini catalog. Did you guys even know they're in that catalog? Hi, Holly. They are. And they're very well hidden. Sometimes, I think. Stampin' Up! sends us on a, on a um, treasure hunt. I don't even have them in my list. Oh, maybe it's here. Okay, they're on page 47. So just let me get it open, and then I'll flip my camera around, and you can have a look at where they are. While people are showing up. Hey, Carmen. Okay. So here we are, page 47 of the mini catalog. This is the, you know, the, the one that's almost done, done at the end of December. And then we got a new one. I'm so excited. Okay, <sighs> calm down, calm down. Um, so they are located right up here in the top right-hand corner, right there. Abundant Beauty Masks, $14.50. $14.50, people. That's it. That's all they cost. Can you imagine all this gorgeous beautifulness? Well, anyways, you'll see that um, as the night progresses because I'm going to show you how to use them. So here's a card I made. Hey, Marie. Hi, Kathy. Um, I used bubble bath and fresh freesia, lemon lolly crushed curry and then lemon lime twist for the leaves and i asked for if anybody had um a color combination they may might want to see me use and valerie said rust orange yellow green with a touch of gold hi lena yes so I'll do that. I got out those colors. But if you guys, as as we progress, if you guys have a color combination you want me to use, let me know. I don't know whether we'll get the card made or not tonight, but I'm going to show you how I made this one. And then I added Wink of Stella because, you know, Wink of Stella, where is it? Come on. Sometimes it's really difficult for me to get the, the Wink of Stella to shimmer on there. Can you see it? I can't see it in my little tiny. Oh. Hi, Connie. Lena says red. Red. Okay. Just, just plain red, Lena? Or do you want like real red and cherry cobbler or poppy parade and real red? And then we need a color combination. So I'm going to need about four colors. I'll put that over there. And I have my draw to do for share it Saturday. So don't let me forget that other tones of red okay we'll see what we can come up with oh i have an avalanche because i have i have a thing a christmas thing um you know those crafty friends that you have it's sometimes it's really hard to figure out what to get them for christmas or their birthdays or stuff so i've come up with two different adhesive kits in cute little containers now i'm not saying they're always going to be in these exact containers because you know dollar stores sell out i get what i can 
a small bag is thirty dollars plus shipping to where postage to wherever you are if you're out of town. Tombow glue dots, dimensionals, and mini dimensionals are in this one. So as you see it here, thirty dollars. And then I have a bigger one that's sixty five dollars, and it has Tombow glue. This one I can open easily. The other one, the other one does open. It's one of these like a Ziploc bag thing. So it does open and close. So if you are like me and you go or your friend and family go to um, classes, this is perfect because everything they need is in there. Just maybe slip in a pair of paper snips and you're done. There's your Christmas present to them. <coughs> okay, this one has foam strips foam sheets tombow and tear and tape mini dimensionals and the big dimensionals and the glue dots all in this really cute zippered bag and it has little pockets on the front as well so this one is 65 plus postage if you need it out of town and they are available now while supplies last because I'm not sure how long I'm going to be able to get those little baggy things. Okay, so let's get going. I have a paper to cover my workspace. So these masks come with the daisy one. They come with the center of the daisy one. They come with the secondary center of the daisy. Then there's the leaves. And if you, Matt, see, they all have these little notchy things at the top. See them all here? So if you have them all matched up, that's how they're going to layer on top of each other. That's how you know which way the mask goes because it goes both ways. So you can have it that way, or you can have it this way, or you can have it this way. You know, wherever you put it, just make sure you have your notch marked. And then there's the leaves and it's got the same notch so you know where the leaves go and this one also flips over and you can have leaves going the other way and then there's a herringbone one i've seen this one used with the embossing paste and with um em embossing like somebody took and used it and embossed cardstock with it. I haven't tried it yet. I've got the recipe, but I haven't tried it yet. Then there's one with fall leaves or spring leaves. They don't have to be fall leaves. And one with snowflakes. And you know what? I haven't even had a chance to play with those ones. So, But we're going to play with these ones tonight. So we're going to start out with... Oh, Lena likes the leaves one. It is very pretty. I'm trying to find my cardstock. Did I not get? Maybe I put it all in here. Yes, they they are pretty. Okay, there we go. I have some cardstock. Five and a quarter by four. Basic white cardstock. And I'm going to use a bit of temporary tape on here just so it doesn't move while I'm trying to do this. There we go. Now, I have the first. <laughs> oh, Norma, you do. You have to get it. Um, Valerie, welcome. Hello. I'm glad Dave now has a haircut. Okay, so I'm going to fit, try and fit all three of these on here, which is really weird because I managed to do it here. So why is it not? Oh, I know. Because it's all in how you put it on here, right? So there we go. Now, I did bring my masking tape so I can put it on here and be able to keep it steady i don't want it to move while i'm doing it so i'm just going to put a little bit of scotch tape if you've got painter's tape that works too 
and make sure that you don't have any cardstock hanging out anywhere. And there's my V. So I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm going to put the V there. And that's where it's going to line up when I go to use the next masks. So let me just lift this up so I can show you. See, there's the V. And I've marked it so that when I pull this off and go to the next stencil, I'll be able to know where to line it up. Okay. So I started out with bubble bath. So who's played with these? Let me know in the comments if you have played with them and what you thought about them. I'm going to try and get a, a big one. Okay. All right. So I'm going to open this up. And you know that I use the lid to um, even out the ink on the blending brush. Oh, my gosh. Words are going to be hard tonight, people. I can just see it. So I'm just, I'm doing the whole thing. You go over the entire flower with my first level. So that's why I don't mind using a big one. When I'm going to put on the fresh freezy on top of it, I'm going to use a little one because I have more control. Nobody's, well, I know Eva has because she told me that she has used them. <laughs> Valerie says words are hard for her all the time. Some days, you know, the words are there and some days they just, they get stuck in there somewhere. My poor doctor, the day I went in and he had sent me for um, some kind of a scan on my head because I was getting really bad migraines. I think I've told you this story before. And so I went in there for the results and I said to him, so tell me, he said, what? How big is that hole, that big black hole in my brain, in my head from menopause, you know? And he looks at me and he laughs and he just, he rolls his eyes and he shakes his head. <laughs> Janet hasn't played with them yet. And Lena hasn't played with them yet. Uh -huh. So what I do is I always make sure that I leave the blending brush on the ink pad and because I'm going to be using a lot I'm just going to use a an elastic to keep it on there so I don't mix up the colors okay now we're going to go to um this is fresh yep I just had to check it's fresh freesia and I don't want it to be too dark so I'm going to make sure I don't have a lot of ink and then I'm just going to go around the center I don't want to go out too far I want to be able to put just a bit around the center. Now, it's a little bit more difficult with the little ones than it is with the big one. There we are. Getting a little bit of ink on there now. There, now. So you're seeing this develop? You're seeing how this this goes. It's so easy. And if you have a lot of cards that you or any cards that you have to send outside of Canada, these ones would be perfect because they're nice and flat. And depending on how many layers they are. OK. So there's the first two. Oh, I don't like this one. I'm just going to use it a little blend it out a bit here. I've got a little bit of a mark where I went around in a circle. That's better. Okay. Catch this. Catch this to my ink pad so I don't get it mixed up. Now, Now's the time you're going to take off the mask. I'm just going to lift up my masking tape here. I'm not going to remove it off of the off of the paper because it's going to the next mask goes in exactly the same spot. So do you see? Do you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? 
And I've seen it where people have um, cut them out. So we'll see about that. Okay, so this one, did I tell you that these have numbers on them too? So this one, I don't know whether you can see it up there. Can you see it? It was there just a second ago. There, you see the number right where my finger is? That's a number one. And then this one says number three. And this one, says number four and the leaf one says number two now i don't know why you would do that but i'm not going to i'm a rebel oh one was made into poinsettias lena oh my goodness that would be gorgeous okay so this is going to go here like this and I'm going to line that notch up with the notch that I drew. And then kind of play with it till I get it where I want it to go. There we are. Now I'm going to use the next color, which is lemon lolly. So I want a light. I'm using lemon lolly and crushed curry because. The Kush curry is darker, so I want that on this one where it's going to go over top it with just and make just the the little stamen things that are in there. So, what other color could you use for the center of these flowers besides uh, yellows? What color do you think would look pretty? I think I kind of messed this up because I don't think it was in the right spot, but. We'll do. Here we are. So that's lemon lolly. I'm gonna have to see if we can made it into a um, poinsettia. Eva says light brown. Valerie says rusty. You were late, Valerie, but I have your colors out, and we're going to do your colors. The next one will be. Take the mask out and be very careful because I don't know whether you can there you can see there is ink on there and because this is plastic it's not going to dry so I'm just going to grab a paper towel and put it on top of my other one with a paper towel in the middle so that I don't get ink on the back side because if you get the ink on the back side and then you put it on top of this if I wanted to do more color because you can play with them um, you don't have to just do it once then you could get um, ink all over your card front and I don't want to do that okay so here's the next one I'm going to line it up I'm going to line it up like that and put the tape down And I have crushed curry. And we're going to get a little bit of crushed curry on there. And go right over the top. Make it a little bit darker. And this is really cool because when you take it off, you can still see lemon lolly in some of the spots. And then the crushed curry just makes the center darker. See, I'm getting ink all over my fingers. Okay, so we'll take this one off. Put it, I already got paper towel out. See, there's our flowers. Look at that. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Okay, now we'll get some, get some leaves in here. And this you can, you don't have to do it where they tell you to. If you want to move it around, go ahead. Be rogue. See, that would look good there too. And then I just have to do this one secondary. Or we could put them this way. Or you can put them the way they're supposed to be. 
So I'll just do that. Move it over just a bit. There we are. Get this on here with the tape. What do you think? Is this something that you would like to make a card with? Okay, now I've got lemon lime twist, and I'm only going to do one color of um, green, but I'm going to do heavy in the middle. So you don't have to have two colors if you can make it light on the outside and then kind of heavy right in the middle. Just make sure that you go right up to the edges of them. Don't always go this way because you'll be missing that tip. You gotta get your bristles into the tip of that leaf. This one, I didn't have to worry about it because it goes off the paper. That gotta go that way to get down into that corner and go up that way. Now, I just thought of something because, you know, things pop into my head every once in a while. Norma says she would. Carmen would. Now, while I have this on here, I'm going to take my Wink Stella. This might be ingenious. I'm just going to go over top of the leaves. And this will, because they're done in our dye inks and they're water-based, this is also going to smooth out those leaves and you'll be able to get Wink of Stella exactly where you want it and nowhere else just by leaving the mask in there. This is really easy. I'm so glad I thought of this. So what did you guys do on the weekend? Anything exciting? I had a team meeting last night. We got to stamp together. It was wonderful. Other than that, I spent a lot of time in my craft room. Okay, so now I've got Wink Estella on there. It's gonna clean the brush. So we'll take this off and we'll have a look at what's in there. Oh, oh. Oops, need another paper towel. Hang on. I'm just going to clean these with baby wipes, but I don't want to clean them until I know I'm done the card. Let's just lift it up. What do you think? Can you now let's see if I can get the the wink of Stella. Can you see the wink of Stella on there? It's really difficult to get that there. There. Can you see this the wink of Stella on those leaves? Man. Okay, so the original card, I did it this way. See, I went in with the the leaves and added some more leaves on there. You don't have to do just the three they tell you. But I think that I would do this one, put it on a card, and then just put your sentiment up here. That one would be a little bit different. Cool. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so that one's done. Now, let me get my, I forgot to get my wipes out. Where are they? There they are. <laughs> Baby wipes. Crafter's best friend, but don't ever use them on your stamps. Because, first of all, you have to make sure that they don't have lanolin in them. A lot of them do. And second of all, you will end up with little fibers all over your stamp sets and that's not a good thing but it's really handy for cleaning these masks off your stencils off um for cleaning your fingers splatters and add a b oh that would be cool good idea lena 
Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to create a card cuz I want to do some different color combinations. So we're, we'll do Val's suggestion next with reds and rusts. And then I've kind of got an idea of how to add some gold to them. I'm wondering if it's going to work. So you'll have to stay tuned to see. I don't know which way up. Oh, yeah, this way. The lighter the color, the harder it is to see where the color is. Okay. Off my fingers, too. Okay, next one. I need a piece of paper. I'm going to put it down on top of that. Let's see if we can make, put it sideways this time. Okay, so Valerie said, Valerie said, I lost my paper. Marie says she, Friday she went out to supper, Saturday went out for supper, and a jam session with 14 guitar players. And one, Oh, you had an awesome weekend, Marie. That sounds fun. Valerie wants rust, orange, yellow, green, and gold. So let's see what we can. I got Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Early Espresso, and I'll pull in um, Crushed Curry. And I think a darker green, right? Let's try Granny Apple for the leaves. Okay. Let's see where we're going to put this one. Now. I want to do it sideways and I want to leave room for a sentiment. So maybe we'll put it right there. Put the tape on. Put the tape on. Now I'm I am I've got it poking out here, which is not a good thing. What am I looking for? My pencil. So I can put my V in. There's the V. Now here is going to become an issue. So I'm going to get a couple of post-its and just slide them under there to cover up that corner. And then it's out a little bit down here too. So I'm going to do that. So what color do you think I should start out with? Calypso coral or Cajun craze? I'm thinking the Calypso coral because that'll be the lightest of the two. Okay, well, we're going to get some more blending brushes. I ordered more blending brushes, but I didn't order the little ones, which was crazy. I just ordered some big ones. Okay, so Calypso coral in the background. And I want it really light out towards the edge. So I'm just going to go once out towards the edge like that, and then around the center. Go light, yes, go light. Oh. Apparently my my tape was very late. My tape is old and I, I'm having sticky issues now. Okay, so there's Calypso Coral. This one's a little bit darker, but that's okay. That, most of that will get covered up anyways. Okay, that's Calypso Coral. And then, let's get my elastic, because you know, that would be a disaster if I mixed these up. 
And then we're going to put some Cajun craze. And I have a little, one more little one here. And we're going to put Cajun craze right around the center. This is not a color I use a lot. Um, in fall, sometimes for fall cards I do. And I just want to go just around the around the corner, I was going to say. Okay, this is not a corner. Around a circle. Uh-oh, it moved. My tape let go. There we go. Let's go right around the very center and then kind of feather it out. Maybe we should use Wayne Costello on this too. Oh, what about a what about a um a blending brush? I wonder what that would look like. Some right around the center. And then the final one. Shall we get a blending brush out and see what it does to this color before I go taking this off? Some days I have time to play. Today was not one of those days because Stamping Up decided that they were going to put a bunch of stuff in the in the warehouse that I had been waiting for. So I was busy doing orders and stuff all day. So if you were waiting for the um, adhesive back, what are they called? Adhesive back star trinkets or what else came in? The faceted gems trio pack, the Marius trees came back in. So I'm putting an order in tonight. And if you belong to my VIP group, then you will have seen um, an offer I have available. For my VIP people, if anybody wants me to order them, let me know. Okay, so I've gone outside is Calypso Coral and then Cajun Craze on the center. And this one I took a blending brush to. I'm not sure I like it though, because it kind of, it made the, the flowers not as distinctive like the color variation. Don't have Cajun craze, Kathy. Okay, well, um, you could use cherry cobbler. That would look cool. Or if you wanted it more brown, pecan pie. Okay, so this one is going to go on here and going to do the flower centers with this. And uh, I was going to do crushed curry. Terracotta, yeah, if you have terracotta, that would work too. Terracotta is a retired color, so I do not have it. But yes, terracotta. Terracotta tile, it was called. Okay, we're going in there with crush curry. A bit nice and dark because these are bold colors, so it needs a strong center. Now, should I use early espresso or um, copper clay? Which one do you think I should use for the next level? So we have early espresso and copper clay. Tell me which one you think I should use next for the next part of the centers. This one's going to turn out really pretty. Oh, love it. 
Copper Clay says Valerie. Okay, we got our centers, second part of our centers going in here. Like that. <laughs> Copper Clay says Val, Marlene, Marie, and Lena. Hmm. I think it's unanimous. Okay, I'm putting away early espresso and I have my copper clay. And I'll just get some ink on there. This is going to give it a, you could, if you have, um, Kathy, if you have copper clay, I would use that on the flowers too. Well, not if you're going to use it on your centers. Oh, this is pretty. Good choice, ladies. Good choice. So I'm going to be shaking things up a bit. I am going to be changing my classes. And I'm going to be changing the time of my Facebook Lives. So if you get my newsletter, you'll get a sneak peek of what my new classes are going to be, look like starting in December my December class, which is the new garden meadow bundle that goes live tomorrow. Okay, I want to put Wink Estella on this. Um, and I'm going to change the time of my Facebook Live. So I would like to know, I don't want to be live this late at night anymore. I want to go live a little bit earlier. So tell me what time you think I should go live. And if it's, if you're telling me in your time zone, make sure you tell me what time zone you're in. I'm in the Pacific time zone. So it's 8.37 here right now, because we just turned our clocks back an hour. I'm getting ink everywhere on my hands, so that's okay. I want to get the centers wink a Stella before I take this mask off because I think it's going to be pretty. So I want to go earlier. So I want to know um, three o'clock in the afternoon or seven o'clock at night. So three o'clock in the afternoon, my time would be four o'clock mountain time, six o'clock. Eastern time. I think it's Eastern time. I'm not really good at this. Okay. Lena says five to six. No, that's that's my dinner time, Lena. We eat at five o'clock. And I don't want to change that because then that would upset hubby and I don't want to upset him because he cooks dinner. Seven o'clock says Val. Seven o'clock says Norma. Okay, here you go. Oh, look, you can see the wink of Stella on there. Look at these. So this one, um, it kind of fades out at the edge, but I kind of like that. And then I would put it on my card like this and have the sentiment up here. What do you think, Val? Do you like your color combination? Norma says she wouldn't ever be able to see it if it was 3 o'clock. Oh, well, that wouldn't work. Now would it? Okay, I'm going to get these. I'm not going to um, do the leaves on that one. I want to do a red one. Lena wants me to do a red one, and I want to see. Um, so I have the Monday Night Live here on my Facebook page. and stream to my group and then there's the thursday night one that's only in my group and that's the fun fold one blackberry bliss says marie wow that would work wouldn't it 
okay. I think I need a, a new cleaner. Turn this over. Oh, that's not good. I can't turn that over. That's got information on there. Ollie says seven, Marlene says seven. Well, apparently everybody in the Pacific time zone wants it to be seven, but I haven't heard from anybody in another time zone. So tell me, you live somewhere other than Pacific time? Let me know what you think. What time do you think I should go? I could do two o'clock in the afternoon. What time do you head off to work, Norma? I don't mind I don't mind doing one at seven o'clock, but I'd like to get an afternoon one. Just to give it a try. Okay, I'm cleaning my fingers because I don't want to get ink all over my Okay, let's get a new paper. Connie. Hello, Connie. Not home till after four. Oh. That wouldn't be good then, would it? Okay, a piece of temporary tape just to hold it in place. Another piece of cardstock. What time is it? Oh, we got time to do a couple more. Okay, let's put it this way. And we're going to try reds. We're going to try reds now. Real red. Uh, Poppy for me. And cherry cobbler. And Blackberry Bliss. Let's see what we can come up with with those ones. Okay, let's get the... Where's that I put my tape? There it is. Blackberry Bliss was used in centers with a hint of cherry cobbler. Aha! Good idea. That was Lena. Kathy says she watches Tamara at seven mountains, so eight mountain would work. Eight mountain for me would work for us. <laughs> yeah, I have to be aware of um, my friends going live too. I kind of want to stay. I know Ange McKay, which a lot of you do follow. She goes live at seven ish most times. Um, my friend Leanne goes live at 7.30, but she is in Saskatchewan, so she is um, two hours ahead, so that's 5.30 my time, so that wouldn't interfere. I got ick all over my fingers from that tape now. There we go. And Tamara is seven which is six o'clock my time so that would work okay we're gonna do reds now start with poppy parade and add some real red then do cherry cobbler and blackberry bliss what do you think this would be the center part this will be the flower part Okay, I have to get some more blending brushes. Good thing these came in today. I'd be in trouble. Look, new package. Woo! Virgin blending brushes. How excited. Okay, I've got, I've got, I got a purple one I can use because I think it's cleaned off. Oh no, it's got purple on it. Why didn't I use that for the purple? I'm just going to grab my thing and get most of that ink off of there. Okay, Lena says yes. Valerie says go for it. Even says Eva says yes. Good colors. And Marie says work it, girl. <laughs> work it, girl. Okay. Poppy parade. Here we go. 
Maybe I'll do this one so that we can fussy cut it and see what it looks like cut out. Poppy Parade, and I want to go right out to the edge, so I'm going to work that color right out there. So what is everybody thinking about these masks now that you've seen me make a couple of them? Did were they on your horizon as something that you might want to get? Or did you look at them and go, no, I don't think so. And now I've changed your mind. Or are you still, no, I don't want them. Tell me, what do you have on your cloth to clean with? Oh, Janet, it is just baby wipes. I... I don't use baby wipes anywhere near my stamps. I don't like it on my stamps because I find they leave fibers, but they work really well for cleaning off the masks. Holly says she might need to go on, it might need to go on the wish list. You're right. It should. Uh, Kathy says she's going to play with hers tomorrow. Yay. Marie says got them and use them. So she's way ahead of me. Norma says I didn't even notice them, but I want them. <laughs> Go, girl. Kathy said the cloth you used for the brush. Oh, the cloth for the brushes. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Kathy. Like my brain. Hang on and I'll show you. I just want to make sure I've got enough of the poppy parade on here. Do you think that's enough? I don't know. Let's just do this one more time. So all three of them, just to make sure I've got it right out to the tips. Um, so those that cloth that I used is a dollar store dishcloth. That's all it is. It's called a, I don't know, what's it called a magic cloth or something? Fiber, microfiber cloth? I don't know. There, that's better. That's all it is. It's just like a dollar store dish rag, dish cloth. I don't think it's, oh, here, it's got a tag on it, but it's so worn out, I can't read it. Nope, can't read it. That's all it is. And I just um, do this on it, and it takes most of it off. And then I will, um, depending on how much I use them every once in a while, I just I take them and I soak them overnight in water in my sink. And then I run them under um, warm water as I do this with them, and that just helps the, the ink to come out. And then, you know, you know, the, the plug in your sink, we've got that one that goes up and down. So I put it up so that it's got a bit of a, a ridge on there. And then I just do this around that until the water runs clear. And then I do a couple of more like this under running water and then leave them overnight like that to dry. Because if you leave them this way, then the water se soaks down into the, the base here and it won't dry. So if you do it, and you don't wanna do this because you're going to end up squishing your bristles. So if you lay it like this on the side, it dries perfectly well. And I do that, um, when I use them a lot, like I've all these ones that I've done tonight, I will take them tonight and clean them. Okay, so this is real red. And I'm going to go around the center. Now, if I had have ordered some mini um, ones, I would have would be using the mini ones for this for going around the centers. I like them better. 
But, you know, I forgot and only ordered the big ones. Okay, there's one. So um, did that answer your question, Janet? So you can, when you're inking these up, you can ink it up on the side like this and use that if you want to go have it um, just smaller. All right, now we're going to do the big one. Oh, good. Do I put anything on the cloth? Nope, it's dry. It's a dry cloth. And it's just the friction on the cloth that takes most of the color out. Now, I do know a lot of people, um, a lot of demonstrators will have one for each color. And I think if I was going to be doing something like this a lot, I would probably do that too. Because now, see, I've got them all attached to the ink pads. So I'll be able to put the name on here of the one, the color that I use. But I store them. I store them in this cup. See, it's just that I bought this cup because I was going to stamp on it. I never did. But I store my, my, stamp, my um, blending brushes in here. They stand up like that. And if I got one for every color, my my um, mug wouldn't be big enough. Okay, so now we've got the real red on there. And we're going to go follow with some cherry cobbler in the center. So I have to take this off. Um, yes, Janet. So to clean my stamps, um, I have... I have this Simply Chamois. Oh man, this tape. You know how it gets when it gets old and all the the, the um, sticky comes off? That's what it's doing. So I have a chamois, my Simply Chamois. I know mine's really old and dirty, and but it's I still use it. So this is what I clean my stamps with when I'm in the moment and creating all day. And then I will take them and run them did i draw my i didn't draw my thing i take them and run them um run them under the water to make sure all of the ink is off and then i use my scrubby I have the stamp and scrub and I use the stamp and mist on my stamp and scrub. So that's three ways I clean my stamps. And I really dislike the fibers that show up on your stamps when you use baby wipes. So I don't even have them out. They they hide in my table. And I only use them when my fingers get dirty. And I took them to um, Powell River the other day because I knew we were going to be getting inky. And I warned the ladies not to clean my stamps <laughs> with them. Yeah, this, this chamois is amazing. I love it. And I just clean it out, just run it under some warm running water and cleans it right out stains like crazy and in my humble opinion they should have made them black but that's okay they are what they are okay so this is cherry cobbler and it's going in the center and i want it relatively dark but not too dark because we still have to put some Blackberry Bliss on top. Valerie likes these colors. I like them too, Val. So the center of a, of a poinsettia is yellow though, right? So this is technically not a poinsettia. 
There we go. Okay. Good thing I have lots of elastic bands. Maybe I should do a, a guessing game for a giveaway. Guess how many ink pads we've used, including this one. So in the comments, guess how many ink pads I have used tonight. And maybe I'll give away something. I've got lots of stuff in my tickle trunk. Janet says four. So just in the comments, say how many ink pads you think I've used tonight. I'm just getting those that lined up and we're going to put some Blackberry Bliss on top here. And then I will there. four, nine, five, thirteen. Yep, Lena, how many stamp pads I have used tonight? Including Blackberry Bliss that I'm using right now. Oh, it's going to be oh, pretty. It's got to be dark, though. I need this really dark. Oh, yes. Look at that. Ooh, love this. Love, 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 love this. Okay, I'm not going to follow the comments now because then I would stop coloring, but I will go back after. After I'm done, um, you'll have until, see, tomorrow night I'm live on YouTube at 8 o'clock. So you have until 6 o'clock tomorrow night to tell me how many ink pads you think I've used. And then I'm going to do a draw. Actually, that's not fair because then people can go back and count as they're watching. So this has to be tonight just for you guys that are watching. As soon as I do the draw for the, the Share It Saturday draw, I will, um, I will go back and look at the numbers after I count how many I've used. So the draw is going to happen, oops, tonight. And somebody's going to win something. So get your get your guesses in there. And the one that's the closest will win. And if there's two or more that have the same guess, I'll put them on the wheel. I'm still trying to get this nice and dark. This one I got really dark. This one not so much. There we go. Okay, are you ready for the great reveal? Oh, <laughs> that ink all over my ink. Do you do you guys clean your ink pads? A baby wipe is perfect for cleaning the ink off of your ink pads. As you can tell, I clean the bottoms too because it takes all the information off. There we go. One more elastic band. We have lots of guesses. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? Oh. oh my God, look at this. Oh, but I should have done winky. I have to put that. Let's clean this off. Clean the Blackberry Bliss off. I'm going to have Blackberry Bliss all over my fingers now.
I will take these afterwards and wash them with some soap and water too, by the way, just I, because I want them nice and clean. All right, so I'm gonna try and put this back where I had it and do some Wink of Stella on it. Apparently I can't talk and move the mask around at the same time. There we are. Wink of Stella. It is wow, right? Very dramatic. And I really like this idea of putting the Wink of Stella on with the mask in place because then it only goes where the mask is where the mask is not. And of course, this is Blackberry Bliss, so it really reactivates the ink a lot. What time is it getting to be? 9.01 time. Okay, there's a song. And of course, it's popped into my head. Time gentlemen, please. I don't know what show that was from. There. Okay. Oh my. Oh, an idea of gold. No, I didn't put it on. Yes, I was going to try it. Thank you, Norma. Okay, so there's our red ones. Look. Oh, that's stunning. I really want to cut one of these out. But I also want to try the, the gold and see if the gold will work. So it's a good thing I waited because now it's dry, right? Okay, get rid of that, get rid of that. And I need another stamping paper. We'll put this on. Okay, I'm getting my gold embossing powder. And my heat gun. Now, I, I like that color combination, Eva. It's really pretty. Make sure when you do that, you put it in Share It Saturday because we all want to see it. Okay, so I need to tell you right now, let me show you my face. I've never tried this before and I have no idea if it's going to work, but we're going to find out. So stay tuned. Wink of Stella. A little bit on there. Add some gold. It worked. Look. So I'm going to put a little bit. You can't. I don't think I could work too far in advance. Just little bits at a time. So here and up there. Because otherwise it's going to dry too fast. I'm impressed, ladies. I had this idea and I had no idea whether it was going to work or not. And look, it's working. So now we'll see if it's going to stick when I put the heat gun on it. So I'm just putting a little bit of Wincostella in some places and then pouring the gold, the embossing powder over top. Okay, that's enough to see if it's going to work. Still there. See, you see it in there? Now, let's put the heat gun on it and see what happens. I have to plug it in. That'll work very well if you don't plug it in. Okay, plugged in. Let's close up my Wink of Stella. I have the lid on my embossing powder. 
Did I ever tell you about the story when I didn't have my ink, the lid on the embossing powder? It was not a good thing. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this is going to stay on there. It's not moving. Ouch, it's hot. Oh my goodness, it worked. Oh my goodness. Look, look there. It worked. A little bit of Winka Stella, a little bit of gold embossing powder. Oh. Yes, Valerie, you were right. Gold is awesome. But who would have thought to you? Have you ever seen anybody use Wink of Stella to add gold? This is just, it's spectacular. Some days the bean is there when I need it. Just saying. Okay, so get your last guesses in for the number of ink pads. I'm going to add them up. Make sure I don't have any. I didn't use Memento, so we're not counting that one. Didn't use Granny Apple, so I'm not counting that one. I don't have any more hanging around anywhere. Okay. Okay, I'm going back. I'm going back up to where they were, the guesses were, and I'm going to write them all down. Okay, Janet, Janet M said four, Val W said nine, Lena said five, Holly said 13, Carmen said 16, Janet L, said 14, Kathy S said 13, Marie W said 10, Marlene said 12, Val W said 12. So I guess your nine is not your guess, Val. Lena changed her mind to 14. Norma said 12. Holly said 14. So I'll change yours to 14. Eva said 14. Marie W changed hers to 14. Come on, Facebook. Oh, a card for me? <laughs> oh, Valerie. Okay. Going down, going down, going down, going down. Connie said 10. Norma changed hers to 13. Okay. I used 12. So on this one, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. I'll come 13 when I've only got 12.
one, two, three, four, five. So that would be this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's five. And then on this one, we did Calypso Coral is six, and Cajun Craze is seven. And what yellow did we use? Oh, I know why, because I used the yellow twice. Okay, 13 it is. So let's go back and see. Kathy is 13. Norma is 13. So one of those lucky ladies is going to win. Hang on now. I got to get some. Yes, Carmen, I used one color twice. Now. Hmm. Copper clay. Yes, I use copper clay. Now, technically, technically, it's only 12 colors I used, but I used them 13 times. So let's put Marlene and Val in the draw because they both said 12, which is technically the number I used. But if you count the um, Cajun or Crush Curry twi twice, then it was 13. So we'll put all four of them in the draw. Kathy, Marlene, Val, and Norma. And somebody is going to win some 2022 20, to 24 in color pearls. Look at those. Ooh, they're so yummy. And I think they're out of stock right now. It's probably because I bought a whole whack of them. <laughs> okay, if we have time, I wanna cut one of these red ones out. Can't get over that. The sparkle of the, the center of the Wink of Stella and then the gold embossing powder on there. That card is stunning. That color combination. Okay. Going over. Uh oh. What happened to all of my. Oh my God. Some days I tell you, I don't understand what goes on in my. Now, why did that go to a completely different window? Okay, I'm taking you off there onto my face while I take this down. Because we're going to do the draw. We're going to do share it Saturday for. And we'll go over to, or we'll give away those pearls. Okay, I am here and I have to go here. Oh, wait. This is a pain. Do this. Okay. Now we're going to go over there. And there's the Share It Saturday draw for October the 28th. We'll just delete the heading and delete the line. Look at all the people we had putting cards in. Shuffle once, shuffle twice. And the winner of the Share It Saturday for October the 28th is, drum roll please, Pat Hickey, card number one. Congratulations, Pat. So Pat will get a card and a little gifty from me. Okay, so now I need to go, hang on. Back over here, put this over there. I'm going to redo the wheel and I'm going to put those four names on the wheel. Okay, let's just get another one open here. Take all those names out. And I'm going to put in there Kathy S, Marlene C, Val W, and Norma. Okay. Now, I have to go back over here. Yes, congratulations, Pat. Okay, here we go. go over here, go over here. Here we go. Here's the draw for the 
pearls. I'm going to shuffle it twice like I always do. And the winner of the pearls is Norma. Perfect. Okay, now we'll go back over here and I'll do this. And isn't that isn't that amazing? Norma gets 12, changed it to 13. She won. So technically she had both answers, right? And she won the pearls. Yay, Norma. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome, Norma. All right. Oh, I was going to cut one of those flowers out. Do you guys want to hang around for a couple of minutes while I cut one of those flowers out? And we'll see what it looks like. Fussy cut. Put that over there with my list of who won. And grab my scissors and I'll cut out the medium sized one. Okay, here we go. So when I'm fussy cutting, I always start on a straight edge because it's easier to match up your cut lines on a straight edge than it is on a curve of any kind. And when you're cutting, you always turn your cardstock, not your scissors. So last month was Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I made my appointment for my squishigram. Go get the ladies looked at tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, did you guys get your mammograms done for the year? Don't leave it. So many people I know have dealt with breast cancer. And early detection is necessary. And I call it my yearly squishogram. It's not yearly. I think it's every other year now. They used to do it yearly, but they've also lowered the age now. They used to say 50, but I think they've lowered it down to 40 now, which makes sense to me because pe um, women and men are getting it younger and younger. Oh, good. Valerie had hers done. Got the all clear. I used to do a breast cancer fundraiser with my team members a few years ago, and then COVID hit and we didn't get back at it again. I should do another one. But we have our winter creative escape now in October, so I can't do two big events. That was an all day thing too. We used to have lunch and about eight of my team members would participate and everybody did a, did a card. All my team members provided a card and all the people that came to the fundraiser got to make one of every card. There was prizes. We had prize patrol going off about every 15 minutes because we had so much stuff to give away. And the last one we had, we raised over $1,500 for breast cancer research. That was a, that was a good year. Yes, good, Holly. Make that appointment. Thank goodness they send you reminders. Okay, just about done. This isn't as hard to cut out as I thought it was going to be. It's actually quite nice because there's no angles. It's just nice, even swoop, swoops. Swoops are good to cut out. I don't like trees because one side always looks lopsided. There we are. Look at that. And you could cut them all out and put them on. Like that and cut out a few leaves and tuck leaves in there. Maybe I'll have to do that and come up with a card. 
and I'll post it. It did came, come out nice, Eva. I, I'm impressed. And of course, it's got bling on it because I used Wink Estella on them. And then do a couple of, do the leaves as well and cut them out. Kathy, I agree with you. It is there. I love it too. Carmen says beautiful. Val says awesome. All right. So if you have the, if you have the abundant beauty masks, create a card and make sure you go over to my VIP group, you know, the VIP group that I have. Um, the link is in the description of the video. If you're watching it on Facebook, it's probably over there, that side. <laughs> If you're watching it on YouTube, then it's below. And what if you're watching YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. I'm getting so close to a thousand viewers. It's gonna be fun. I'll have to have a party or something. So tomorrow night, eight o'clock Pacific time, I will be live on my YouTube channel. The link is in the video over there. Um, come and join me. I'm doing another Christmas card. And thanks so much for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoy your day tomorrow and I'll see you soon in Craft Room. Stamp and smiles. Bye for now.